in this video we are going to discuss about the most important part of the Moodle that is the course means how we can create the course and enroll the student so that the student who enroll complete the course and get the badges or credit so um, to discuss uh, in detail first we have to log in and we have to go to site administration and uh, here just beside users there is another tab courses so you can find many options here but we have to go first and we will see the course default setting and uh, we will understand the different default setting uh, before we proceed for creating the courses so you, you can see here that course default setting in that first one is the visible uh, that is the default set to the so but if you just click on hide so whatever the courses we create it won't be visible for uh, to the individuals even if they have the link of that particular course also they will not be able to see so the setting uh, the administrator or teacher or have whoever is creator has to determine or has to ensure that it appears and it is set to the visible by default it is set to the so then the another important setting is the course format basically there are four type of course format in which uh, one is the single activity format where only the single activity will be performed by users will interact social format is just like uh, one particular social uh, message on which uh, different users communicate and uh, respond similarly that is there is a topic uh, one topic is uh, created as a course and in which the different users participate and there is another that is the weekly format generally this is the famous format uh, which is uh, 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 suppose I am conducting one course or I am offering one course which is of five weeks so accordingly that whole program will be set and uh, the maximum number of section this one uh, this uh, that is the default 52 and the maximum value in the number of section drop down menu it can be 52 and it is applied to certain course format only and next is the number of section you can increase the number of section but uh, by default it is 4 and number of the section in the course it is applied to certain course format only not applicable to all format and some of the hidden section are shown in collapse form so by default it is set to hidden section uh, in collapse form but if you want you can uh, set the hidden section or completely invisible so uh, it won't be visible generally if it is set to the collapse form so uh, when the users see or that uh, means it, this is set to the hidden section in collapse form so only it will be it, it, it don't go completely or it won't be invisible completely but it will be visible in or shown in the collapse form then the course layout so all section on one page or so one section per page it is up to you how you want your section to be displayed and uh, course in date enabled by default by default so by default it assumes the course in date but uh, if you just uncheck this so whatever the date you set it will take as per uh, your setting even after setting this also whatever the date by default is uh, set you can modify that and the course duration you can set it course duration is used to calculate the default course and date so in date is used for determining whether course should be included in a user list of courses so this is the duration so number of days you can set here now coming to the next option that is the appearance so by default the language is English but if you want that uh, okay another language to be used so accordingly force language you can use out of all what you have set so that will become the force language and uh, system will act accordingly and uh, this is the number of uh, recent announcement in the uh, announcement block so how many you want to set you can set accordingly and uh, so grade back to student by default it is set so it will enable the display of grade back and it does not prevent grades from being displayed within the individual 
and so activity report by default it is set to no but if you want that activity report to be shown to the end user so that you can set here a maximum the another one is the file and upload this is the maximum upload size and this is uh, 32 MB so this 32 MB uh, size is default but if you want uh, to modify so you can modify accordingly the largest size uh, uh, 32 MB can be uploaded in the course and uh, completion tracking by default it is set to yes if it is enabled then uh, activity completion condition may be set uh, in the activity setting uh, course completion condition may be set it is recommended to have this enabled so that uh, meaningful dat data is displayed in the course overview on the dashboard so by using this the user will be able to co track the completion of the uh, course and uh, then this is the group group mode by default it is set to no group but if you want separate group or visible group so that you can set and here also it is not forcefully set to yes for any group but uh, force the course group mode to every activity in the course so if you want any particular group to be used forcefully so in that case you have to set it to yes and also you have to choose the group so in this way you can set uh, the um, different setting for uh, creating the course so this is the course default setting uh, next video we are going to see that how we can create the category and uh, different courses so hope this will help you to configure the default setting and also make the changes necessarily and necessary for creating the course so finally I just click on save and uh, let's see in the next video